Killer Karen here. I'm here with Scholar. What is going on? Killer Karen, what's up? First of all, uh -huh. go ahead. You got it. I'm sorry. I just have to. I have to bring something up. I got this CD right here, right? It's an amazing cover. If you can't really tell what it is, you can pan shot at that. Like with the paper clip and everything. Um, what can people expect in this? Well, out of this mixtape? Yeah. This mixtape is actually a theme mixtape uh, based on me recording out of a psych ward. Uh, I actually just did, did the mixtape. I dropped it on Halloween. Did you actually record it in a psych ward? No, I didn't record it in a psych ward, but like basically to, to the people I recorded it in the psych ward, but I didn't really record it in a psych ward. Were you saying you're crazy? Kind of, yeah. I could get at times. Only when it comes down to the music, I'm a little throwed off. But I'm nice on the ladies, though. Oh, well, that's good. At least he's not a you know psychopathic murderer. But it, but it's very it's very crazy. Um, basically, it's about my different personalities uh, of mine. Uh, it's very scary. It's like a horror film. It's like a movie. It's more. It's more. It sounds more of a, a, a album than a mixtape, actually. Uh, it's basically all me on it. Also, there's a song on there featuring Locious and a guy named Illadelph. He's also uh, two artists out of Philadelphia. Um, but it's, it's a crazy album. I mean, crazy mixtape. It's called Insanity Play. Uh, the cover was done by Vanessa. Vanessa Scherzer. Uh, she took that picture too. Yes, she's she's like the best art. What would you call it? Art designer. Graphic designer. Gra graphic designer, like photographer. Or photographer. Or all of the above in the world. Um, to me personally, and she let me ask be on the very soon. Let me ask you about you. Um, what do, what do you think makes you different from all the other rappers that are out right now? Well, what makes me different, actually, I don't consider myself a rapper. I consider myself an artist because I do more than just rap. Um, a lot of my music is, is rock and roll, and I do a lot of pop also. I just kind of blend hip-hop in with the, uh, the rock and the pop. Um, but I lean more towards rock and pop um, as far as my career, as my career go. Well, How did you get started? Uh, I got started. Logan, Sam, what up? Logan Valley. Ah. You understand? Sandman, me? Yeah. This is some realness. I was on my way to the restroom wearing a good time in there, Foundation Magazine. Yes, yeah. sir. This nigga called hard. Shout out to LNS. Yes, Shout sir. Shout out to Logan Valley. Yeah. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm out, baby. Let's see what you got. All right, okay. Yeah, that was my nigga Sam Man right there, man. He do his thing. Real heavy. Y'all probably know who he is. So, um, what did I ask for? Uh, Basically. Oh, yeah. What made you start out? Like, how did you start? Well, first I started off acting as a kid. And um, as I got older, yeah, yeah, I, I, I acted in a... Uh, yeah, I acted at the mirror. Do the, do the opposite. Yeah, do the opposite. So start rapping and then yeah. start acting. Yeah. Sometimes they can't act. Yeah, a lot of them can't act. I really can't act. Um, you also you also hear a lot of acting on the uh, on the mixtape too. Um, but I actually was in a show called "Ain't No Woman Like I Want Like the One I Got A Good Man Is Hard to Find." It was a uh, it was at the, it was a play at the Miriam Theater, and um, I didn't even have to audition for it. I kind of basically just the guy the director threw me a script. See, what was your part? Uh, I was. It was a nurse in a play. I was the nurse son. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say you were the nurse. <laughs> so it played. It played for like two weeks. I got paid for it. I was around 12 years old. Um, but at the time, I didn't have a tutor going to roll with me, so that went down the drain. But it's a new day now. I'm doing music. It's paying off. Um, doing big things. I opened up for Beyonce, Plies, did a small tour in London. And that I think we can thank your management. Yes, thank. Uh, of course, thank my management, Adam Scherzer. It's okay. You can, you can come over here. He always wear three-piece suits. I look way better than him. Adam. How you doing? I'm Adam. Uh, he was just eating. It's all right, though. We understand because it's just human. Scott was manager. So tell me about how did you discover him? Well, I was actually uh, part of ABK Music Group which is uh, Alan Iverson's label when I was the business operations manager. They were signed to us, and ever since then, you know, as the label did whatever the label did, um, I left, and they came with me, and ever since then, I've had Scott. So what are your hopes for him in the future? I'd like him to win about 14 Grammys, and um, 
have to about 10 motion pictures and uh, get an underwear modeling ad. Enterprise, man. Enterprise is good. <laughs> I gotta get my washboards right. I'm working on it. Right. I'm still a ladies' man, though. But not to mention, I started off, you know, in a group, LNS. Shout out to Locious. Right now, I'm doing my own thing. I'm pursuing my own career right now. But um, you know, it's still the same. Number one, that's my, you know, my cousin blood. So it ain't no, it ain't no uh, bad blood with that situation. I just wanted to mention that uh, during this interview. So what can people ask, uh, expect from you in the future? Well, from me, you can expect consistently me dropping mixtapes, you know, for the city to keep my name out in the streets. Plenty of albums. You, you can you can expect, you know, a lot of rock and pop from me, and definitely a lot of a lot of hip hop as well. Um, uh, I'm for I'm for mainstream streets. The young Where can people uh, contact you or purchase stuff? Uh, well, you I, I got a MySpace. I got a MySpace right now. MySpace uh, forward slash Scalito one S C H O L I T O one. And uh, I actually got a um, single on the radio right now that Diamond Cuts is pushing. It's called Make the Walls Echo. It's on Power 99. A huge record. Um, it's about to be crazy. It's going down. So, get ready. Well, look out for that shit. Make the Walls Echo. Make the Walls Echo. Because he's in an insane asylum, and that's what padding walls do. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask Karen a question. How did you get started in this business? Oh, well, um, I was bit by a spider when I was a little kid. And then after that, I was just... It's a wrap after that. Web. With the webs. Okay. It was just, that's just the way it went. <laughs> Spider Woman. <laughs> Yo, thank y'all so much. Um, oh, this issue of I wish y'all. Oh, yeah, and I'm in it. This issue of Foundation Magazine. Uh, with Barack Obama on the front. Barack! I appreciate y'all for interviewing me. Thank y'all a whole lot. Hope to see y'all again and get another interview from y'all. Um, keep doing your thing. I wish y'all much success. Oh, you should keep doing your thing. And you guys make sure you listen to the music and purchase it. Support. If you like it, support it. Right. So, and you can keep updated. Scalito One, MySpace. Scalito One, MySpace. Stay beautiful. Oh, sorry. My boyfriend's gonna get mad. <laughs>